This is Ashley Marshall from RevTutor. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to manage substitutions properly in a one referee small sided game situation. Now, this video presumes that you have already watched my video on substitution procedures. So, when you're refereeing alone and managing substitutions, the first and most important rule is that the substitutions must be managed personally. In other words, you as the referee must be present when the substitution takes place. You cannot be on the opposite side of the field watching the substitution take place. You must be there personally. Now, in a small sided game when you're by yourself, typically what happens is the coach is on the sideline saying, Ref! Sub! Assuming that we are at a stoppage in play, in other words the ball has gone out of the field of play and hasn't been restarted yet, the first thing you're going to want to do is to stop the ball from being restarted at your permission. And that may be as simple as saying, wait for the whistle Susie, and that way the player knows that they can't kick until they hear the whistle. So once you've stopped the ball, the next thing to do is to start heading towards the technical areas where the substitutes are waiting to come on. In other words, head towards the benches. And you want to indicate to the coaches that they can bring the substitute on. It might be a signal like this. Because they're closer, it might be a signal like this. But you want to indicate physically that the substitution may take place. Now, the substitutions are supposed to happen at the halfway line. If you're doing a small sided game, you're probably refereeing 9 and 10 year olds and they're just going to want to run on the field and take their positions as quickly as possible. So it's very, very important in a one referee system that you are considering that you need to be teaching the players. This is something that has to be learned. They have to be taught that no, they need to wait until the person they're replacing has completely left the field before they come on. So, this may involve you using your whistle to correct any situations, and I've spoken in a previous video about using a housekeeping whistle, and this is one of those situations where you want to use the housekeeping whistle to inform players, wait a second, procedure's not being followed, and they need to go back. So it's very important that we get the teaching part accurate here. We're teaching the players to wait at the halfway line, until the player they're replacing has fully left the field and then they can enter the field of play. Believe me, when you teach them early on in the match, by the end of the match this won't be an issue and by the end of the season, for every referee in your league, they're not going to have to worry about the players not following the procedure correctly because they've been taught all the way along. This has been Ashley Marshall from RefTutor. Have a good game, Ref.